Hello, hi YouTube, hi everyone. This is Sarah Smina, and I'm just showcasing, a, well, I guess, a, kind of like a, not so much a tutorial, but um, just the result of a look that I've tried. And just wanted to get your opinion, what you think. Kind of like going with the African type turban with the hair out in the front with kind of like I guess I guess people call these twist out but these are kind of like I call them bun out because it's basically you take a um, take a bun make lots of little ones and then you unwind them after you put some product in your hair so you get various look I guess you call it twist well not really a twist because it's, I start mine with buns I really don't do twist outs I really do bun outs that's my term, bun outs. Because I just never got into twists because since the 70s, my family, um, the women have done always buns. Or they really haven't been that much into braiding. So that's what I've done. And so I just want to share this look with you. Now, this is a little bit not really perfect because they start out really small. But these right here are really ideal. You know, and the longer they're out, the more they get some gravity gets weight and pulls the wave out a bit. So, I just thought I'd share that with you. And about the makeup, um, this is some Lancome lipstick, and the eye colors is a combination of using both Lancome, Mac, um, and Urban Decay. And I actually want to give a shout out to Urban Decay. Oh my god, you guys, your products are absolutely phenomenal. Um, you and Mac have some really great products. And the thing about it is that I'm shouting them out is because the staying power of their primer. And I use the, um, what is it called? I'm going to have to reshoot this because I forget the things. I didn't make a card list. I just went to the bathroom and I wanted to show this before I went to bed. So, yeah. I've had this look and makeup on since about 3 p.m. yesterday. And it's like 5 a.m. right now. Like, what? You've been up since then? Yes, I have. But then that's because I was doing my hair. And I started that about... 8-ish, 9-ish, and it took me hours to detangle my hair. My hair is natural for about 10 inches, and then I have about 7 inches of remaining of a thermal process that I had. About the last touch of my hat was almost 2 years ago, so it's I'm trying to transition out without doing a big chop. Because I did a big chop like about 4 years ago, 2010, and... That was after I transitioned for a year, almost a year and a half. And that was okay. It was cool. It was, it was fun having like a, I'd never had a teeny weeny afro, but I've had like a little afro. But you see how big my face is? It don't look good without some hair to frame and balance it out. I have a big face and a big head. I can't go without something to balance it out. Otherwise, I just look, this, you know, in my opinion, it doesn't look that good. It's not a pretty look. It's not me. So that's why I haven't chopped off the straighter ends and I've been working with the textures to make it work for me. So everyone has their own thing, their own deal, their own way of approaching their journey and their hair and their style and that's my approach. And thank goodness we all have different approaches, we all have different hair, all have different textures and, and different, you know, sensibility of style. And sensibility of many things, so that's why, that's why I approach it that way. Um, so yeah, going on to what I was shouting out to Mac, I was shouting out Mac to Urban Decay for it. Though it was shout out to Mac because the foundation cover look I have on is actually just a powder, is a blotting powder in a deep color, and I just want a light makeup look. And I put a, um, I use L'Oreal um, face primer everywhere except for the eyes and then I used the Urban Decay um, fix or no Urban Decay 
Oh my god. <laughs> I can't remember the title. I'm so sorry. I'm in okay. I love your product. I really do. Um, I'll probably reshoot this a bit and have the product beside me and show what it was. And I might show you exactly how I got this look if you're interested. Because I, I think it's a really cool pink, violetish smoky eye. And the fashion color this year is like a violet. So I thought that was really cool for a smoky eye look. And I just thought I'd share that with you. Just close my eyes so you can see. And it was really cool. And I, I've actually... Oops, sorry. <laughs> That's what happens when you have your eyes closed. <laughs> you have your eyes closed, you know, you don't even realize your hand's moving. <laughs> Anywho, um, yeah, so the Urban Decay. Oh my god, I can't believe I can't remember it. I went made such a point to purchase it from Ulta. And we have an Ulta in our town, so which is really awesome. I mean, it's like beauty land. <laughs> beauty land, beauty land, beauty land, beauty land. Go to Ulta, beauty land. It's absolutely fabulous. There's just so, so many wonderful products. And they have a hair salon in the back that does, and they also do like beauty treatments and like, um, like facials and I think waxing too. And oh my God, it's really, really awesome. I love it. And I've gone there like three times now since they've opened in November. And it's, I would spend more time there if I had more time to spend, but I don't. So, but I've gone as, as much as I can and I actually recently got um Urban Decay palette recently which is awesome and it's actually a birthday gift because my it's been my birthday this month and I've got lots of tons of gifts so I am actually gonna do some videos with birthday hauls and other hauls I've done recently to share what's going on with my shopping my passion so I will be sharing that and still trying to think of what that Urban Decay product is called. Everybody knows it. And you'll probably say, you should have known what it was. Yeah, I do know it, but I just have trouble calling the title to mind right now. But anywho, it was, it was really great, you know, when, I mean, staying in power. Look how great this looks. I would have taken a video earlier, but when I put this on, I actually did this in a moving car. My brother was driving and we went to the store to pay bills and things like that. So, but I just wanted to share with you, phenomenal staying power. It's 5 something a.m. in the morning. And look how great this looks. I mean, this, it really works. You know, it really works. Remember that finally, Urban Decay Eye Primer. <laughs> And I use just the regular one, the original one. And look how great it is. It's just perfect. I mean, it looks like I just put it on. I mean, the eyeliner's there. There's no weepiness around. I mean, there's no... Like, granted, I did not put on, like, mascara. Because I just didn't feel like doing mascara today. I just wanted to have my eyes looking, you know, cute. But without overly done... And I didn't really want to try mascara today. I just said, I, it was enough that I did the eyeshadow and everything. So, I'm just really happy that I look so good. Look at this. Look at this. It stay blended. There's no bleeding. It's, it's phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, look how wonderful it is. Now, I will say that I could have done... A little bit better with my foundation and, and use like um, my MAC liquid fix studio fix first and then put the powder but since like I said I was in a moving car it was much easier to not have to deal for liquid you know when you're trying to put makeup on in a car and invariably I always end up putting my makeup on in the car it's been just my habit I don't know if anyone else is out, like there's out there like me who mostly, as much as they love their makeup, invariably find themselves putting it on in a car in various conditions of day or night and just ends up that just be when I have time to put it on, when I'm not busy doing things and I'm not the one driving. So it just happens that way. So please, if there's anyone else out there who has a situation where they're often putting their makeup in the car while driving, well, sorry, not while driving, while being a passenger in car, please, Comment and share. Alright, I mean, this is 10 minutes. So I think I said enough. 
I'm so glad I remembered the name the of the primer, Urban Decay, um Urban Decay eye primer. So it's phenomenal. It worked wonderfully. And also I used it on my lip too. And this lip color is faded a bit, but I mean, come on now. This is talking about over twelve, almost thirteen hours. And it still looks good. You know, I could probably reapply a little bit more lipstick, but my goodness, I have not had to do anything with the eyes. I probably do a little bit more with the face, like I have a little bit of shininess, but nevertheless, it's just phenomenal. Urban Decay, girls, you rock. You rock. Yay! Anyways, good night.